Hey guys, how you doing out there? My name is Firefighter Goods. I work for the Oxnard Fire Department. And today, we're going over some of the basic components of the SCBA, otherwise known as a self-contained breathing apparatus. Uh, a lot of these components, depending on the detail, you can get super in the weeds with uh, all the components and the specs on it. But we're gonna keep this class uh, more basic and entry level and just identify the main key components and go from there, okay? So the SCBA is made of uh, four separate main components. The first component being the backpack itself. So the backpack encompasses this entire, uh, this entire system right here with two shoulder straps and a seat belt like waist strap, which locks into place as such right here. Uh, in the middle here, as you'll see, you can see two uh, horizontal carrying handles which uh, I'll later demonstrate to use to help throw the SCBA on my back. Uh, in the middle, right here, depending on the type of SCBA that you have, um, you're gonna have some sort of battery system, which was, is going to power another one of the uh, key safety features on the SCBA, uh, the pass device, which I'll get into um, in a little bit here. The next uh, major component, pull it out of my pocket here, is gonna be our face piece. Okay, so our face piece, as seen here, <clears throat> this is what we're gonna use to actually be able to breathe uh, the compressed air that's inside of this, uh, this tank here to keep us safe from breathing toxic fumes and smoke uh, when we're in a fire. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, the orientation of this mask here, so you have a cargo style net on the back that goes on the back of the wearer's head as, long, as well as two straps, which cinch down around the side of your face, which allow you to get a proper seal, uh, which helps to keep all those bad particulates and smoke uh, out of your respiratory system. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about the regulator. So the regulator assembly right here. So this is our regulator assembly. Um, Depending on the model of the uh, SCBA, generally you're gonna have two stages of your regulator assembly. Your first stage is gonna be right here, which is just going to attach to your bottle itself and through um, a series of reduction and pressure. Uh, it's gonna go from the bottle pressure, which in this case is gonna be 4,500 PSI. It's gonna be reduced by the time it gets to the regulator. And by the time we click it and breathe, it's going to be just above atmosphere pressure, which is going to be 14.5 PSI. Um, there's a couple features too on this regulator. You have a quick uh, disconnect. So when the regulator is attached to the face piece itself, like so, uh, in the event that you need to disconnect or remove the regulator from the face piece, you're going to simply take a deep breath, uh, hold it in for a second, and then you're going to depress these two buttons here which will release the mass from the regulator, as well as this little red button right here. This is called a bypass or a purge valve. Uh, the purpose of this is in the case of your SCBA malfunctioning, not being able to draw in breath, you're able to open this bypass valve and allow free flowing air from the tank itself into your face piece or into, into your face and then you simply close it when you're done. So as the bottle itself here, it's a 30 minute, 4,500 uh, PSI bottle. So stored under pretty substantial uh, pressure. Um, it has uh, different ratings for testing and whatnot, which I, I won't get into. Um, down on the bottom here, you can identify this uh, bell so this bell is pretty important. Um, it is a warning device in the event that our bottle becomes low and that will give us an audible tone uh, when we're at a certain PSI in our bottle to let us know that we're low on air. Uh, and it's run directly off of the uh, PSI from the tank or from the bottle. So when the bottle gets down below a certain PSI, that bell, which is pneumatically operated, will stop to function. Another big uh, component of the SCBA itself is going to be what we call our pass device. So 
uh, our pass device, uh, personal alert safety system here. So uh, this is what we're gonna use to identify down firefighters inside of the structure. It's gonna give off audible tones. Uh, that's gonna allow us to locate, hopefully, where the down firefighter is and make access to them and uh, rescue them. So a couple different stages of the pass device. So you have uh, your, your pre-alarm. So if you guys have seen on videos of fires, firefighters kind of doing this little shimmy shake. The shimmy shake is to keep this, there's uh, sensors in here which uh, detect movement. A little shimmy shake which detect movement. Uh, so when you're not moving for a certain amount of time, the pre-alarm pre -alarm pass will activate, um, which is an indication for you to start moving around, otherwise you're gonna go to your full, your full alarm. So it's a 20 second pre-alarm with a certain set of tones, and then every, uh, every certain amount of seconds from that to 30 is when you're gonna get your full pass alarm activation. And I'll go over all this, and I'll turn on the bottle here in a little bit, and uh, go over that whole thing for you. Uh, as well as on uh, with your pass device, you have your analog pressure gauge and your digital or liquid crystal display, um, which both indicate pressure amounts and levels uh, of your SCBA. And different pressures indicate to or indicated around this pack specifically with different colors. Uh, letting you know status of air uh, in your tank or right, in your bottle itself. Uh, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this system on and we're going to go ahead and just give you guys the quick rundown on it. So the bottle's coming on right now. Right now the bottle's this system is going through its pre-startup uh, uh, startup right now. So we get those uh, green lights here on the liquid crystal display, as you can see here. It's going to uh, identify how much pressure you have uh, in the bottle, as well as a correlating backup digital display to it. So right now, I'll go ahead and just leave this uh, still for approximately 20 seconds and then we'll go ahead and go through the pass alarm sequence. So here's gonna be the pre-alarm that's gonna be activated. This is letting you know, hey, if you don't move soon, then we're gonna to go to a full alarm. This is the second stage of the pre-alarm, a little bit louder than the first. And there's the full alarm right there, pass activation. So that concludes basic rundown on the SCBA. And I'll go ahead and throw it for you guys and demo it for you right now. Good.